Veterinarians protect us and help our pets and animals of all shapes and sizes live long and healthy lives. Hi, how are you today? Hi, Dr. Martin, how are you? Good. Well, how's Martini doing? Martini's doing great. My biggest role as a veterinarian is not only just taking care of the animal, but taking care of the family. Most of the people that come into our practice, their pets are a part of their family. Like a medical doctor, becoming a veterinarian requires many years of education and may include advanced specialty training. But unlike a medical doctor who learns how to diagnose and treat a single species, doctors of veterinary medicine are trained to provide health care to several different species of animal. Well, I think when people think about veterinary medicine, I think about veterinarians, they think of us in the clinical setting. More than two-thirds of U.S. veterinarians work in private, clinical practice. They are your family's other doctor. A veterinarian may focus only on traditional family pets, such as dogs, cats, small mammals like gerbils and guinea pigs, reptiles and birds. Or they might exclusively treat horses and other large animals. But many private clinics are mixed practices treating all animals, large and small. <laughs> Veterinarians also provide health care to a variety of zoo and exotic animals and wildlife, even aquatic species. They're also a specialist. In fact, there are probably approximately 40 recognized veterinary specialties. And so what we see more and more of are veterinarians who specialize in a certain area, such as myself, in small animal surgery. But they're also radiologists, ophthalmologists, cardiologists, and the list goes on and on. Our companion animals and livestock can receive the same high-quality health care as we do. Veterinary ophthalmologists routinely perform surgery, such as removing cataracts. Those people, I think, bring to clinical practice a, a degree of specialization and focus that rivals that of, of human medicine. And certainly uh, procedures such as total hip replacement, total elbow and total knee replacement, pacemaker implantation, intracranial surgery, brain surgery, all those things are relatively commonplace in day-to-day -day clinical practice. Veterinarians use CT scans and MRIs to help diagnose diseases and conditions. A veterinarian's role has shifted over the years basically because of knowledge to try to heal the, the injured area so they can function normally and not just mask over the pain. Advances in veterinary medicine benefit more than just animals. Reproductive techniques developed with biomedical research on animals were used initially to help human couples. Veterinarians are now utilizing those same techniques to save endangered species, such as rhinos. Whether it is part of your business or part of your family, a healthy animal is a happier animal. Veterinarians play an important role in ensuring that only healthy animals enter our food supply. As we look across the food supply, we think of several key players here. One, of course, is a practicing veterinarian who works with farmers and ranchers, feedlot operators, dairymen to keep their animals healthy. And healthy animals usually results in healthier food for the consumer. Veterinarians are at the feedlots working to identify disease and maintaining the health of the animals. Veterinarians also work with dairy producers to keep their cattle healthy and to help ensure high quality dairy products. Even at other production farms such as pig, sheep and goat, veterinarians are there to help protect and maintain the health of those animals. A healthy animal means healthy meat and healthy milk or cheese from that animal to ensure the, the safety and the quality for the people that are enjoying those products. And as we go to the processors and the packing houses, we see people there in the white uniforms working for the United States Department of Agriculture who are working day in and day out to ensure food safety. The vital role regulatory veterinarians play in monitoring and inspecting food processing plants helps guarantee meat, 
poultry, and eggs are safe for you and your family. We know what our problems are, we know what our challenges are, and then we all work together to try to solve those problems to create a very safe food supply for the consumer. As every parent should know, tick bites can carry a number of diseases, including Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Veterinarians and other scientists at universities, governmental agencies, and industries are researching and developing new ways to diagnose, treat, and prevent tick-borne illnesses. Well, veterinarians, of course, are very broadly trained. We primarily focus on the health of animals, but the overlap between humans and other animals is enormous. Since our companion animals are such a tight bond between the people and the animal, I mean, the dogs sleep with them, they go with them everywhere. Illnesses that can spread between humans and animals are called zoonotic diseases. Disease transmission can occur when humans come in contact with tick and insect bites, or animal discharges such as saliva and urine. At the zoo, we work a lot with that as well. We do have um, zoonotic diseases that can be in our animals that can be transmitted to people. Um, we educate our visitors about that. Zoonotic diseases can be caused by bacteria, viruses, and even parasites. One of the first lines of defense against zoonotic diseases is your local veterinarian. And if we can protect them by vaccination, then we've gone a long way in protecting the pets and the whole family. Private practice veterinarians work with a number of other veterinarians in colleges and governmental agencies in preventing and diagnosing these diseases. The veterinarians within the diagnostic lab situation uh, function essentially as a veterinarian for a veterinarian. Veterinarians rely on diagnostic laboratories to perform testing services. These facilities provide the information they need to protect and improve animal and human health. The practicing veterinarian may do something like an endoscopic examination of a dog. Uh, they may see an abnormality, just like in human medicine. They will biopsy that. They'll send it to us uh, at the diagnostic lab here. We provide them a diagnosis. Zoonotic diseases such as West Nile viral encephalitis, influenza, and rabies can be very serious and alarming for the local community. Public health veterinarians investigate disease incidences. They develop programs to prevent the spread of diseases affecting the health of animals and people. We serve with surveillance for diseases such as zoonotic diseases and other in infections. They may be infections that occur on a regular basis like rabies or foodborne infections, but we're also um, very alert in our conducting surveillance for emerging pathogens. Public health veterinarians serve as epidemiologists in city, county, state, and national agencies. They investigate causes and transmission of diseases within animal and human populations and provide support and guidance to veterinarians in private clinical practice. We find that really some of the most significant impact we can have on public health and far-reaching and long-standing is to look at what can we do to change policies or systems to better improve our ability to detect, respond, and control diseases. Working with legislators such as State Representative Lee Denny to shape policy and laws, public health veterinarians help control or even stop the spread of diseases that pose significant risks. So many veterinary diseases cross over and impact public health in the state of Oklahoma. So being in the legislature here in the state of Oklahoma have an opportunity to shape policy to where it's good for the producer as well as good for the end user. The ultimate goal of every veterinarian is to help protect and advocate the health of both animals and humans. Even in our oath that we take as veterinarians, included in that is the promotion of public health. So it's been such a cornerstone of veterinary medicine. Not only do we protect animal health, but we also protect human health. <laughs>